um, perimeter and area. We're going to do rectangles, squares, triangles, and circles. So, so far, here are the formulas for each of those. I'm going to pause for a second. Oh, you copied them down earlier. I'm going to pause for a second to give you all, the rest of you, a little... Uh. We'll, we'll bring them back up again, but, um, okay. We'll bring them back up again as we go. I'll go ahead and do some talking while we go. So, rectangles have two sides, the same, two pairs of sides with the same length. Perimeter is basically the distance around the outside of a figure. So, with a rectangle, since we have two widths that are the same and two lengths that are the same, we just do two times the length plus two times the width. You always can just write down every single side and add them up. That works every time for perimeter of a figure. Okay. When you're doing the area of a rectangle, you take the length times the width to get your answer. Okay. A square, the perimeter of a square, they call it 4S, and that's because you have four sides of exactly the same length on a square. So you just have four of the same number. Again, if you know that number, you can just go ahead and add, like say the number the raw length two. You can just do two plus two plus two plus two. That works also. With the square, the area is S squared, so the length of the side squared, because you're taking, again, length times width, and length and width are exactly the same. Okay, so if you want to write that as length times width, just like the rectangle, you're more than welcome to do that. Okay, because it really is still length times width, it's just they're the same. Okay, and then finally our triangle. Perimeter, there's really no fancy formula, you just add the sides together. For area, it's base times height divided by 2. And the important thing is the base can be any of the sides. The height has to make a right angle with that side. It has to go straight up. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, for a triangle, it's one half base times height. Because a triangle is basically half of a rectangle or half of a square. Okay, so are we good on those? And we're going to go ahead and find, do some, you know. Okay, that's fine. It's also in your lesson, I think. I took it right out of the lesson they give you. So. Okay, here is question number one. Find the perimeter of a and area of a square where S is 2.4 inches. So we're finding the perimeter and area of a square that has side length 2.4. So you can use the formulas or you can just use your logic. The perimeter of a square, all four sides are the same length. So you can do 4 times 2.4 since you have four sides that length. Or you can add 2.4 together four times. So you could also just do 2.4 plus 2.4 plus 2.4 plus 2.4. Either way, you'll get 9.6 for the perimeter. Now watch your questions. We're doing both. Sometimes they'll ask you for perimeter and sometimes they'll ask for area. So just make sure you watch the wording of the questions because they will change it up um, depending on how they're feeling. <laughs> okay, good. Area is length times width or the side squared. Okay, remember squared means the number times itself. So it's 2.4 times 2.4.
were 5.76 square inches. Okay, are there any questions on that rest on that square? If not, carry right on to that rectangle down there. What would the perimeter and area of the rectangle be? So first let's go with perimeter. Okay, so again, you can go ahead and write out all the lengths of the sides and add them together. Or you can do two times the length plus two times the width. Since there's two of each. And it's whatever way you prefer. Again, you could just write out all of the sides and add them up. You're going to get exactly the same answer. Okay. Now find the area. If you haven't found the area, go ahead and find the area. Remember, area is length times width. Good. 6 times 12 is 72. And we write area in square units, so it would be in square feet. Okay, so, so far, so good. Pretty straightforward on the perimeter and area of figures. Okay, now we have a triangle. For a triangle, remember, for perimeter, you just add the sides together, not too fancy. Okay, so what would the perimeter of this triangle be? Perfect. 30 centimeters is also what I get. The area is one half the base times the height. Remember, the base has to go straight up from the height, or the height, excuse me. So this could be our height, and this could be our base. This side, we're not going to use for the area because it doesn't have anything that makes a right angle with it for our height. Is it 30 also? That is crazy. <laughs> One half times five times twelve. Good. So we get one half of sixty, which you can do sixty divided by two for that. You can do sixty times point five, and it is thirty. Good square centimeters this time. So the only difference between the perimeter and the area is one was length, so it's linear units, and this one is.